Hello everyone, this is Rodolfo Parlati, TVC and TV. Today I want to introduce to you the historic center of Naples, a wonderful city in the south of Italy. It is also a, a, a UNESCO uh, World Heritage Site. So just follow me, let's discover its, it's wonders all together. The historic center is the original core of the ancient city and the UNESCO World Heritage site since 1995. The orthogonal grid of the Greek foundation of Neapolis is still discernible and continues to provide the basic form for the present day urban structure of the city center. Spacanapoli is the road artery of the district that divides Naples into halves in one of the east to west streets from the original Greek Roman city. Teamed with people, this cobblestone narrow street holds many interesting monuments, shops and historical building and is mainly a pedestrian area. The Decumanus of Naples are three ancient streets of Naples, created at the end of the 6th century before Christ, during the Greek era, constituting the heart of the ancient center of the city. The three Decumanus saw a substantial similarity in the two lateral ones, while the central one appeared to be larger than the other two and represented precisely the most important street of the ancient city. The central platea corresponds today to Via dei Tribunali, and in the central point of this artery, the Agora was arranged during the Greek period, while in the Roman won the Forum. The Agora itself, today corresponding to Piazza San Gaetano, was divided in two by the main street, where on the other side, near the temple of Dioscuri, now the Basilica of San Paolo Maggiore, religious functions took place, while on the south side there were the market, the arium and the other structures with civil functions. It is no coincidence that the excavations of San Lorenzo Maggiore, which can be visited inside the church of the same name, show the remains of the same market from the Greek era.
together with the lower decumanus and the upper decumanus, the major decumanus follows the ancient Greek urban layout. The major decumanus, which corresponds to today's Via dei Tribunali, starts from Portalba and then ends at Castel Capuano. It is one of the most famous and characteristic streets of popular Naples, and uh, along it it is possible to find some of the most famous pizzerias in the historic center. The old part of town is characterized by many churches, and you often find several of them in one street, among Baroque-style palazzi of aristocratic families and antique residences. Naples' most important church is the Cathedral of Naples, where each year the famous Miracle Blood Ceremony takes place twice a year. The cathedral rises along the homonymous street. It is one of the largest churches in the city, and it's also the archidiocese venue. Its construction began in the 13th century, and uh, over time it has undergone numerous modifications and reconstructions. Its neo-Gothic facade was rebuilt by Enrico Alvino at the end of the 19th century. In 1951, the facade was restored because of the damage suffered during the Second World War. Under the city, which stands on Tufa, is a labyrinth of caves, some 80 km long. The gate to the underworld of Naples is tucked away at Piazza San Gaetano. The guided tours take about one hour and a half. The historic district offers numerous places to do some shopping, above all for crafts, antiques and souvenirs. 
you should definitely visit the Via, uh, the Via San Gregorio Armeno, the famous street of the nativity scene makers called Neapolitan Cribs. About halfway stands the historic church of San Gregorio Armeno, founded around 930 on the foundation of the ancient temple of Ceres. Only in 1205 was the church named after the saint of the same name. The crib tradition of San Gregorio Armeno has a remote origin. In the classical era there was a temple dedicated to Ceres on the street, to which the citizens offered small terracotta statues made in nearby shops as ex votos The birth of the Neapolitan nativity scene is naturally much later and dates back to the end of the 18th century. Today Via San Gregorio Armeno is known throughout the world as the exhibition center of the craft shops located here, which now makes figurines for cribs, both canonical and original, all year round. Usually, every year, the more eccentric artisans make figurines with features of characters topical that perhaps stood out positively or negatively during the year. During a Christmas time, more than half a million tourists come to see the shops with the original miniature figurines. However, they are, they are open all year round, and you can take your time and have a look around after New Year's. The Doll Hospital is a museum in Naples whose headquarters are in Palazzo Marigliano, in the very central Spacca Napoli. It contains period toys and dolls. Attached to the museum, there is a laboratory which provides for the restoration of the collected material, but also for the care of dolls of citizens who use this structure as if it were a real hospital, mainly repairing porcelain dolls, plastic, wood and papier mache. With a century solid tradition, it is one of the most specialized, well equipped and famous doll repair centers in Italy.
The Gothic Churches, San Lorenzo Maggiore and the San Domenico Maggiore, as well as the Baroque Church Gesù Nuovo, are absolutely worth a visit. Piazza del Gesù Nuovo is a square, one of the most important and famous in the historic center of Naples, that owes its name to the church with the same name. On its facade there is a UNESCO plaque, which explains the reason why the historic center of Naples has become a humanity heritage. In the center of the square there is a 22 meter high obelisk of the Immaculate Conception. Well, this is the end of our journey in the historic center of Naples in Italy. I hope you really enjoyed this journey, just like I did it. Thanks so much for watching. This is Rodolfo Palati, TVC.